If we're going to tackle climate change, that's where we're going to do it, in the built environment. And I think architects as a group need to be leaders. They need to have a voice that says, we are not the tools in the hands of clients, but we are leaders in change. I think that architecture needs to gain more relevance. In the past, we all had one definition, so to speak, of the profession and what it was to do. And today there are many, many more challenges. And I think we need to expand the role of architecture and design to make it relevant, to tackle and to face these great societal challenges that we have. The built environment produces lots of the, the negative impacts that are affecting our climate on an everyday basis. And by the same token, it's our built environment that can make the most positive change. And therefore, any building, any space, any infrastructure, any intervention in, in the built environment needs to have sustainability, needs to have resilience, needs to have a regenerative spirit to it. And not only spirit, we need to do the research, we need to have the best practices, and that means also that individual architects, individual firms must be leaders, must educate clients, must educate their communities to the importance of sustainability, but also to what can be done, to those positive steps that can be taken. So they must be educators as well as practicing professionals. Today, the world on one hand is much closer together, but the diversity that we have in climate, in culture, in people, in places, is something that can provide enormous richness to architecture. And only by traveling and understanding the broader world can we really hope to be good architects.